Here we're looking for Euler paths or circuits in directed graphs, specifically. So again, we're going to count the degrees, but remember that with a directed graph, we have to worry about in degree and out degree. So it's similar to Euler paths and circuits with undirected graphs, but with directed graphs, we're going to look to see if all the in degrees and out degrees for each node are the same. So if each node is consistent with its in and out degrees, if so, there's an Euler circuit. So if each node has an equal in and out degree, then we know that there's an Euler circuit. If not, we're going to look and see if one of them has one more outlet than it does inlet, and one more of them has one more inlet than it does outlet, but all the others are consistent. If so, there's an Euler path. All right, so let's start with the first one, with part A. We're going to count the in degrees and out degrees. So for node A, we have one in and two out. For node B, we have two in and two out. For node C, we have two in and two out. And for node D, we have three in and two out. So B and C are both consistent. Each of them has the same number of ins and outs. Node A has one more going out than coming in, and node D has the opposite, one more coming in than going out. So that's the situation where there's an Euler path, even though there isn't an Euler circuit. Then for part B, we'll do the same thing. Node A has one in and one out. Node B has three in and three out. Node C has two in and two out. Node D has two in and two out. And node E has one in and one out. So look through all of them and notice that each one of them has an equal in and out degree. So that means that yes, there is an Euler circuit through this one.